All right, uh, some of you guys had been asking for a video uh, while I was milling out the 80% lower. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing a video just because I wanted to give this my full attention, but I figured uh, I've done two passes now. I could probably record one of the passes that I'm doing uh, so you guys get an idea of what I'm accomplishing here. So I guess let me see if I can show you pretty. So on the, on the jig, it's got hash marks here makes it pretty easy then you just set the depth on the router for each one of those so I've done the first two uh, I'll set the depth to the third one and then do another pass and 5d makes this pretty foolproof so these pins right here these pins right here on both sides what those will do while the um, router is spinning is they'll ride it along the inside of this pocket on both sides and that's basically what gives the pocket of the lower receiver its precise shape um, so let me set that up real quick and it's gonna be real fucking noisy so maybe turn your volume down uh, let's do this so unlock this Give this a spin. And uh, I'm only taking little bits off at a time. That way the finish is a lot better if you do it that way. Also helps your tooling last a little bit longer. Um, got WD for some cutting fluid. Drop that in the hole that we drilled all the way through. Uh, speed all the way up on nine and let her rip. Let me turn my shot back on.
All right, so that was the third pass. That uh, 5D tactical end mill is super sharp. It's leaving a super nice finish on it. So far, so good.